My name is Brennan Leslie, and Agree to Disagree has given you 273 videos in the past year, and that is not even a video per day, and that pisses me off. My name is Brendan, this is Derek, this is Joe, this is your channel to Agree to Disagree, we're reviewing Wolf of Wall Street. You guys ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm just gonna get to it, it was the best freaking movie, holy crap! <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> they said, a lot of people were saying, uh, next Goodfellas. And that's absolutely and correct. Goodfellas is a classic. Instant classic with this one right here. Uh, Derek, without Joe a doubt, Schramm would just said that. Without a doubt, without a question, instant classic. I totally agree with both of you. I don't even want to talk about expectations because I think all of our expectations are still all the way up there. It's ridiculous. My expectations are obliterated. Oh my god. Obliterated. I, uh, let's get into this. Okay, Let, so I'm talking about this cast. Jesus Christ, this cast. The cast. I, everything in this movie was absolutely brilliant. It was a brilliant. It was a comedy. That was the best part. It was a comedy. But too. so but serious still managed to, at like, the same time, it which is weird because it was like a comedy, but serious. <laughs> it's very very strange. But the the directing, the storytelling was awesome. The dialogue. Oh my goodness! I did not it's, expect it to be so explicit. Honestly, it was so freaking funny, but so well written. Oh my god, the cinematography. This this was yeah, cinematography, cinematography was, was really cool. Fantastic. Was really uh, cool. This was, I believe, loosely based on uh, his book, Jordan Bayford's book, Belford. Uh, Belford. Uh, and it hits home for us because we're Long Islanders, and this shit happened right on Long Island. This story, and I was so excited to see it. <laughs> we live here. Yeah, it's it's it. Oh, I I can, mm, the acting, Leonardo oh DiCaprio. Yo. This is why if this he's guy proven, is not in your top five actors. If he's not nominated, I will I go bonkers. He has to be. He I'm is nominated. He is, he's nominated for Golden Globe. Yeah. Well, I mean for Oscars, uh, we don't know. One, a step no, at a time. Yeah. I, Leonardo DiCaprio, without a doubt, he best performance be of his life should be nominated, and we might hopefully finally see, see our Leo win. And I would go bonkers for that. I'm gonna actually watch these Oscars just to see Leonardo DiCaprio win Best Actor for this movie. This movie was fantastic around the board. I, I would barely even say any specifics. His oh, best piece? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm sorry for all you Titanic piece. lovers, but yeah. it blows it out of the water. Nah. I just want to specify about the movie. Uh, I really loved, I, I don't know if Scorsese's done this in any of his past films, but there were times throughout the entire movie where DiCaprio would just kind of speak to the audience. And those so, were some of my favorite that, moments. It was like it was something out of the actual book that was written. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. No, it was like he yeah, was yeah, yeah. reciting he the story He didn't actually too. do that in real life. That's from the narration of the book. That's what yeah, I'm that's, that's how the book goes. Yeah. yeah, I read the prologue. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. He was kind of reciting the story to you in the theater. It was awesome. Wow. I, I love that. God, <laughs> I really love that kind of storytelling. Damn, this movie. I, I, I can't wait to do my top five uh, yes. videos of 2013. I'm so, glad I, I'm so glad I pushed my top movies of 2013 back a weekend. <laughs> I'm so unbelievably happy. This was Chris I need to talk about this movie. Film since Goodfellas. Crazy. It, it was just everything about it. And I keep saying it. I just, I can't think of something I didn't like about The movie was three hours long. I didn't want it to end. <laughs> I didn't look at my phone once. The movie ended and Joe, what was my reaction? It's, that's it? I was like, no, don't stop. Keep going. <laughs> I, I, could, I, I want to see the rest of his life. It was just, oh, God, it sucked me in. And oh, personally, give a nice honorable mention. Jonah Hill, just, wow. Yeah, seriously. This was probably Jonah, one of Jonah Hill's best performances as well. I would say his best. When I saw I this um, defined as a comedy in the description, also with the drama and the... Uh, uh, other things like I was like where are they gonna throw this in and they threw it in everywhere and it had me laughing I was crying just as much as Anchorman too honestly this movie had me hilarious. pissing myself just like hilarious. as much in the we are the Millers and we are the Millers <laughs> was my top comedy of 2013 and then I saw this Leo showed in this one role how versatile he can be oh my too. god yes from one minute he'd be crying to the next he'd be screaming and the end one of the parts in the ending where it gets real messed up with Leo's character wow that takes a lot to do a and persona like that. Leo showed just how well he is at acting. And how much he we does already knew that, but that was just reassuring us he can do everything we could think of. You know, he yeah. definitely, he had it. Here. And it pisses me off more, because why hasn't this man won Best Actor yet? I, it just pisses me off. I don't, uh, I don't know. He needed a piece it of It doesn't make sense! Ah, this, guys, I, I think we can end. Yeah, I'm just going to say real quick, 
I, I'm getting through this without spoilers. I did enjoy the story and how the story was told, and I do like it at the end. They very much emphasize on the crime doesn't pay part, even though the last minute is kind of like, okay, he, you know, should have been worse, but I like the overall theme of crime doesn't pay. And I did, I did think they emphasized that, just, you know, the right amount. Yeah, so. Yeah. I yeah, I, this, I, I, I just, this, this was amazing. I, I had the, one of the best times I've had in a couple, a few years yeah. at the movie theater. All right, so final thoughts on the movie. Piece of art. <laughs> Instant classic. Instant classic. I don't know how else People to will be talking it. about this for you. Definitely go see it. Unbelievable movie. Will be in my top movies for a while. Um, yeah, it, it cracked else? my top five all time. I, I'm pretty sure it's up there. I got I got I got to review my list and I'm pretty sure I couldn't even tell it was 3 hours. Titanic. I was like a uh, two hours in this movie was like oh come on keep going it was like oh that was the best one more thing throughout the movie a reoccurring thing was like drugs and adrenaline and everything that got you going in the movie yeah. and it made you forget about the three hours you're sitting there like come on come on light a coke let's go it was crazy it, it made you feel like you're high off drugs and that's why the adrenaline rush keeps going and that's why it didn't feel like three hours can you agree with that I don't feel like I was high off drugs uh, yeah I don't well I you know what I mean the, 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 the metaphor the, the metaphor the metaphor is that what you is that why you went to the bathroom a few times? I did not. I did no, not go to the bathroom. No. <laughs> the metaphor, gentlemen. The metaphor. All right. Okay. All right. So thanks. definitely go see the movie. Which, if you yes. have seen it, comment below on what you thought. Uh, if you enjoyed what you just saw and you liked our video, like it, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe because it, it takes, takes how much effort? That much effort. About that much effort. I'm that much. So until next time. And I'm Brandon Leslie, and I own 300-foot yachts. <laughs>